Arizona's population is growing rapidly. In 2020, 91,000 more people moved into Arizona than left, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. But can our state's water supply keep up with all the people who want to call the valley home? Yeah, for Impact Earth, meteorologist Jorge Torres goes in-depth into the preparations happening in one valley city that happens to be one of the fastest growing in the country. The city of Buckeye is quickly becoming a destination for homeowners and businesses in Arizona. Projections show that the West Valley community will grow from its current population of 89,000 residents to 305,000 by 2040. City leaders say that they'll grow with a smart approach. So if we're looking at bringing in new employers, we are not going to bid on companies that are going to be high water use um, employers like a chip manufacturer or something like that. That being said, Buckeye is still growing, and as of this year, it mainly relies on one source of water. The city of Buckeye relies almost exclusively on groundwater, and that demand for water is increasing, and it's only expected to continue as we move into the future decades. A key aspect of making groundwater accessible to all is through the Groundwater Management Act of 1980, which ensures that water being pumped out is being equally replaced. Buckeye is able to replenish with treated wastewater. However, a concern brought up by the Kyle Center of Water Policy at ASU is a workaround that has weakened the act known as the Groundwater Replenishment District. One of the big issues that concerns us is that it's getting harder and harder to find water supplies for replenishment. The areas highlighted in tan are the subdivisions that are part of their program, with many clustered in the West Valley, including Buckeye. This allows developers to pump groundwater to supply their communities. In turn, the Central Arizona Project would replenish the groundwater taken out with Colorado River water. This program has proven to be much more popular than anyone imagined, and so um, there's, there's every reason to think that it will become more and more challenging for CAP to find the water. It doesn't have to have the water in hand. That issue is becoming more crucial by the day with the looming shortage on the river, but the city of Buckeye says it's working on its portfolio. We'll be entering into a contract to acquire uh, 908 million gallons of non-Indian agricultural water that will be delivered through the Central Arizona Project. That delivery will start in 2022. The delivery may be cut in half if the shortage declaration happens, but even if it does, the city says it's in good shape for the future. With all cities as they grow, you go through these growing pains where you have to transition and create that more diversified water portfolio. And that's something that we're keenly aware of and staff works every day diligently to make sure that we're exploring those opportunities and bringing that water online. For Impact Earth, Jorge Torres, ABC 15, Arizona. You just heard Buckeye City leaders talk about data centers, which use massive amounts of water on a daily basis. And eighth one was just approved in Mesa. And ABC 15's Cameron Pullum has a pretty in-depth report on what data centers are and why they need so much water. You can watch that right now over on ABC15.com forward slash Impact Earth.